Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Barely Necessities with Becca and Rebecca. I'm Rebecca Mosley, the co-founder of LaughingPlace.com. And over there, I did it right, is <laughs> Becca Burbank, our site manager. Hey, Becca, how have you been? It's been a little bit. It has been a little bit. I am doing well. I'm glad you're back because this is our 40th episode. Like our 40th full length episode. We did that one half one for uh, Black Friday, but yeah. Can I you believe no that? Idea. No, I can't. That's so <laughs> fun and cool. So for those of you who don't know, I just got back from a Disney cruise and I took my mini Nuimo along with me. She had quite a bit of fun. There was a deck party. We had some soda, uh, enjoyed the beach even had some drinks up at pink i enjoyed the passion uh, the pomegranate passion while uh, she had a ginger ale although she's oh. 90 so over 90 so she's definitely fine <laughs> right <laughs> but but no i i love i love my mini nuimo and i had way 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 too much fun um taking her along on this journey and i'm hoping to share a bit more of that with everyone um, on the Laughing Place Instagram and uh, Twitter, even took a few videos. But this is Barely Necessities, and we are going to be doing a bit of window shopping. So, Becca, what have we got today? Well, there was so much stuff, as always, but I, th I think we've got a pretty good list for today. Um, I wanted to start with the Alice in Wonderland collection by Mary Blair, so... There we go. Yeah, oh, there were so many amazing items in this collection um, and in a wide range uh, as well. You not only had things like in this picture here, you have, you know, a beautiful candle holder and then you also have headbands. Yes. So, you know, it was just a lot of a lot of different items um, available and in a variety of price ranges as well. Yeah, um, I'm glad you mentioned the price ranges. That's something I was impressed with. I mean, it's Disney, so it's going to be a little more expensive, but nothing seemed like out of the realm of, you know, it was it was all it's all reasonably priced, I think. Yeah, and it's really neat to see um this celebration of kind of I want to say like a little less traditional um uh representation of um, Alice in Wonderland, really going back to these Mary Blair concept images rather than just strict um, like clip um, polls or, you know, stills from the film. So uh, over at Shop Disney was a, a wide variety. Um, and then also from her universe, they, they're even getting in on it. Yes, I love that the dress is actually two pieces. So it's a top and a skirt set. And I love that Disney is making this a pre-order. So it I guess the pre-orders haven't sold out, but you kind of can see what the demand is and it's not not gone instantly. Like, you know that, okay, they're, they're introducing this and it'll be around for a while. And just really um, beautiful, um, beautiful colors in this. And those of you watching at home, if you have any uh, questions or comments about it, let, let us know um, right here. We're here live and we're willing to chat with you about things as well. Um, and then there was also um, one of the higher end items that I noticed was the uh, framed pin set. Mm -hmm. And this is a limited edition. And once again, like Becca's pointed out, a lot of these items are pre-order. They won't be arriving until um, mid-October is uh, when their actual uh, date is expected to be um, available in, in the stores or via, you know, shipping. So yeah, lots of, lots of things coming in celebration of uh, Alice in Wonderland's 70th anniversary and uh, the beautiful uh, Disney Imagineer and artist, Mary Blair. Mm -hmm. Next up, it's approaching Halloween time. So we've got some Hocus Pocus fun. We have so much Hocus Pocus fun. <laughs> um, most of these arrived on Shop Disney yesterday. I love that they have plush and they of course have pins and you can't have a merchandise release without a spirit jersey right like it's it's a rule <laughs> oh especially right now i even noticed a couple of them on board uh the the disney magic i'm um, the disney dream and uh we had that launch last week of the 50th anniversary so mm -hmm. it seems like spirit jerseys are still uh here and the one for hocus pocus features the hocus pocus logo on the front chest uh the 
it's a bunch of hocus pocus along the uh, back along with the sisters sanderson sisters and then a few kind of what uh, mystical objects along yeah. along the sleeve you've got the book and the candle uh candle or I, or, yeah yeah totally and and this gets, i know and this continues to be at the price point we've been seeing for the spirit jerseys of 74.99 so that seems to kind of be right that that range that we see for the uh, disney spirit jersey um, if you want a long sleeved reversible shirt, now you're mm -hmm. looking at forty nine ninety nine. They've got this one. Now this cat, I'm I'm not a hocus pocus, uh, uh, what aficionado? <laughs> Does this cat have a have a name I should know? Yes, I don't know much more. I've seen in the movie once, maybe twice, but this <laughs> is this is Thackeray Binks, and so he's wow. actually uh, he was a boy who was cursed. To, I think cursed to be a cat. I don't remember how it all works exactly. Wow. But he ends up helping the the kids in the story to to uh, kind of try to defeat the witches. So oh, okay. So he's a good he's a good cat. There you go. And once again, we've got these mystical objects um, in the reverse pattern: the candelabra, the book, the cauldron, the cat head, a skull. These kinds of you know, like I say, mystical items and. Uh, the Sanderson sisters mm -hmm. as well. So lots of uh, hocus pocus, the clogs, which they seem to be like in a resurgence. I felt like I know. I felt like the croc fad had kind of subsided, and then now again, here they come. I know, but I love the I do love the color scheme that orange to purple or gold to purple, and I love the sparkles. But yeah, I'm not I'm not gonna be wearing these. <laughs> I do want to see these in person, though, because I wonder just how much do they pick up the light with the sparkle? Yeah, that's a great because question. For whatever reason, Shop Disney's images don't always like give us a mm -hmm. good representation of the sparkle. So I'm I'm hoping to see these in person, but we'll we'll see if that happens. Um, let's see. Continuing with some Halloween stuff. Oh, and by the way, with all these items that we're talking about, there's going to be links down below and um, all these different uh, collections that Becca and the team here at Laughing Place have put together are, are going to be there um, in, in, in the links below. And so you can uh, browse mo even more items yes. beyond um, kind of what we're sharing here with Barely Necessities. Think of this as like a little, a little teaser, just kind of what you can see when you look in a shop window you, before you step in. <laughs> That's um, a great way to put it. <laughs> over, over at Shop Disney, They've got a lot of uh, Halloween decor that uh, the team collected, uh, some wreaths and flags. Uh, this is what caught my eye, though, Becca. Yeah, I think that's really I think it's really cute. I love it that you've got Mickey and Minnie and it's almost like a harvest theme as well. So it's it's got the Halloween on there, but but you can, you know, use it for more than just that, I think. I am a sucker for a countdown calendar. I know just recently they had the one with up mm -hmm. and then you could switch out the banner below to put in different kinds of things. Um, thank you, Kidder and Caitlin. I appreciate the welcome back very much. I had a wonderful, wonderful trip, but it is nice to be back. I did miss talking with Becca and with Mike C and everybody here at Laughing Place about all things Disney. It's very strange to be on a ship because uh, you kind of feel like you lose touch with stuff. Yeah. So, so yeah, but I'm grateful because the Laughing Place team here, um, not only do they do a great job of keeping everyone um, abreast of what's happening within the Disney company, but when you're on board a cruise ship, you just get notifications. Even if you don't have internet, you get <laughs> notifications. So I just kept getting all these little Disney headlines while I was at sea. So even okay. though I wasn't buying the Wi-Fi package, all the little like notifications I would get of when you guys would publish things at Laughing Place kept me in the loop a bit about what was going on when it came to all things Disney, even though I wasn't on Wi-Fi myself. There you go. <laughs> so headlines are important. They are very important. Uh, let's see, over with um, continuing to look at what Shop Disney have, how adorable is this yes. Halloween set with Chip and Dale, right? Yep, and you even got a happy pumpkin. It's it's so cute. <laughs> yeah, so way way too much cute stuff coming from Shop Disney um, in the Halloween theme. Please visit Laughing Place when you click through our links. We do get a small 
uh, portion of the purchase price, no additional cost to you, but that little bit uh, helps here pay the bills and <laughs> keep all the fun happening here with uh, laughingplace.com. Continuing on, we've got some new dolls at mm -hmm. Target. By the way, Becca, if I skip anything, let me know because ha, my printer, uh, we had a power outage while I was gone and it killed my printer. And so I wasn't able to print out your uh, the list of topics. So I'm that's no, you're doing great. This is actually the you've hit everything that that I have on the list. So cool. we're right on track. Okay, no worries. These are adorable. They um, are. They're inspired by the princesses, but yet they're not actual like representations of the princesses. You know, when you look at these costumes, you can see. Um, you know, Ariel reflected in the the outfit in the center. You've got uh, Cinderella reflected, um, obviously, right? Frozen. Mm -hmm. um, so Elsa, uh, little Tinkerbell, and Minnie Mouse as well. And these are the I Lily, no, I Lily Forever doll, yeah. right? I, which I I think is I think stands for I Love You Forever. Makes sense. Oh so, yes. I don't know if it's Illy or Eily, but yes. <laughs> and so they've got uh, brunettes, blonde, got some nice dark curly hair, a wide variety of dolls, and then the various fashion kits that you add on. Um, these are exclusive to Target. Mm -hmm. Um, I personally am most interested in this mini car, which still wasn't listed at Target.com. Right. So I'm going to have to keep poking around for that because how cute is that? It's very cute. I, I've had I had a car for my Barbies. I would have loved to have a car for my for my American Girl doll. Okay, I'm envisioning my mini, my mini Nuimo sitting and, in there. Yeah. I'm curious how the scale will work, but it's okay because the car is too cute to pass it up. <laughs> so so we'll see what happens there. But uh, along with the dolls, they also have various kits. So here you have a Moana inspired fashion pack, and the fashion packs are twelve ninety nine. And they include um, a variety of accessories like shoes and hair bands, sunglasses. So that once again, your doll, I, I'll, I'll call it Disney bounding. Um, these yeah, are like, that's, I think like that's Disney a great bounding way to put it. Dolls. Yeah, yeah. So lots of, lots of fun coming uh, from the Disney Eily Forever um, line. I'm going to keep calling it Eily because I, I like your, I like your, I, it stands for I love you. So so yeah, so that's what we've we've At got. Least I, th I think there. so. There's there's a nice big heart with it and, and the logo, and I'm like that just makes sense. <laughs> yep. So lots and lots happening over at Target. So to be sure to check that out from our uh, Marvel archive, um, our Marvel uh, headlines. Mm -hmm. uh, Becca and the team have been talking about the What If series, and now uh, there's a. a variety of merchandise related to the latest Captain Carter episode. Yes, that's right. Yeah, we've, we're back with Marvel must-haves. There was a little bit of a hiatus there. At least I didn't see anything. <laughs> so, um, so happy to have these back. And yeah, this is the merchandise featured this week is themed to the first episode. Um, so we've got Captain Carter and then that the figure there on the uh, left-hand side, that's the Hydra Stomper, and I don't think there's a mini figure inside, but that's um, that's the what Steve Rogers ends up doing is he he is not since he's not the Super Soldier and since he's not Captain America, he helps uh, helps Peggy Carter and Captain Captain Carter by wearing this big mech suit and and you know going in to take the hits so that she can get in there and do what she needs to do. <laughs> Very cool. So they've also got the Hydra Stomper Steve Rogers represented in t-shirts over at Hot Topic. Uh, Captain Carter and other What If Funko Pops over at GameStop. And even Lego sets yep. are, are representing the uh, What If uh, storylines. Um, this is where Marvel kind of shakes things up a little bit and gives you kind of, you know, if if you know, let's just take this path and kind of go this way. What if there isn't Captain America and instead we have Peggy Carter um, as Captain Carter and, and kind of de de develop that storyline? I think um, the most recent image I saw was um, T'Challa um, as, as Star-Lord. Mm -hmm. 
Yep. So, so yeah, so just, you know, Marvel has always done kind of these alternate storylines, these let's explore what could happen if things didn't go as they did in the original canon. They have, what, 600 and something Earths to explore. Right, exactly, more. yeah. <laughs> so, you know, it's, it's, it's all good. I think it makes it uh, more fun. And I, I love that there's not, I don't know, it's, it's harder to have very strict canon. And that makes it a, it a bit a bit more fun to explore uh, the worlds of of Marvel. Yeah, from the in the Star Wars universe, some new jewelry has uh, made its way to uh, Shop Disney and um, other locations. This charm from Pandora uh, with the Master Yoda, yeah. and uh, behind him a scene from Dagobah. Really beautiful. Um, Mike C. and I actually uh, explored quite a few of these Pandora charms on Monday's Omega Monday finale episode. And uh, yeah, no, really nice. They have a, a Death Star charm. They have uh, uh, Leia and Han. So quite a few um, Pandora uh, charms available over at Shop Disney. Um, once again, we highlighted those on Omega Monday, so be sure and check the stream or like I say, links will be below. So you'll just be able to check it out down there. Also, Rock Love has released the latest in the Kyber Crystal series. This would be Kylo Ren and Rey. Um, you can see here the uh, Kylo is this brilliant red, although it's scrolling down because you can't see it there. There you go. Mm -hmm. So there's a, the beautiful red uh, from his saber blade, as well as um, the uh, yellow for the uh, ray, ray lightsaber. So once again, lots, lots going on within the uh, jewelry world uh, if you are a Star Wars fan. I think that does it for the list I was given, which means it is now time for the Sensational Seven. So this week's Sensational Seven um, is a tribute to, tribute, it is a collection of travel mugs. It's that time of the year when we are dropping our kids off at school. The weather is beginning to get a little colder because maybe we're getting up a little earlier in the morning, a little caffeine never, uh, you know, isn't appreciated. <laughs> so I went through and found some of these wonderful double walled uh, travel mugs from Tervis and other companies that do a great job of keeping your hot, hot and your cold, cold. So here we go once again with the Sensational Seven. I try my best to represent sleepy, happy, grumpy, dopey, sneezy, bashful, and doc. So we're going to start off with a little sleepy. And in this case, I went with something a little dreamy. It's the Princess Heart of Gold stainless steel tumbler from Tervis. Um, it's also what I snagged as our background today. But it. you can see the silhouettes of the princesses um, in this beautiful 20 ounce stainless steel uh, tumbler. Uh, next up for happy, what can bring you more joy than just a little polka dot in the morning, a little a little yellow band along the bottom, nice bright bow. This is actually from Corksicle, which apparently is a very popular brand right now. Um, on the cruise, there was a Corksicle and our own Tony contacted me on the cruise. Hey, can you pick me up one? And when I went to pick it up, there were only two left. Oh, so well, you got it. So yeah, so when the cruise was over, there was only one sitting on the shelf, one lonely corksicle. So I'll share, I'll share a picture of it in a bit, but, but yeah, so corksicle seems to be quite popular in the moment. Um, after uh, happy, I look for something for grumpy and okay, I know you may be surprised that I went with Wally, but when you think about the circumstances, Wally finds himself just surrounded by garbage. I mean, come on. That's going to put you in a bit of a grumpy, a grumpy state of mind thinking about it. So um, hang on just a minute. I am. Okay. 
Um, so yeah, so there we go. So that's why I went with this Tervis Wall E triple insulated tumbler. Maybe Tony will like this one too. Okay. He's a Wall E fan. For Dumpy, d- Dumpy, for <laughs> Dopey, <laughs> I went with Tinkerbell, who is another character in the world of Disney who doesn't technically speak. She just uh, makes sounds like a bell. So I, I kind of linked it up there. Um, this one is, again, a, a beautiful turvis. You've got a few uh, images of Tinkerbell um, displayed throughout this brightly colored pattern that wraps on the stainless steel tumbler. Oh, man, Sneezy. Speaking of which, that was <laughs> that was me. I was cue, queuing you up. I think a sneeze. <laughs> I I went with all in a golden afternoon scene from Alice in Wonderland. This is part of the Mary Blair items that we were talking about at the beginning of of the program. Sometimes for Sneezy, I like to think about the fact that he may not enjoy a garden as much as the rest of us. Um, and in this case, I I'm looking at the ceramic travel mug. Um, with the Mary Blair artwork from uh, Alice in Wonderland um, for bashful, maybe a little motivation, maybe, you know, to not be quite so bashful. It is Ariel with the phrase, find your voice. So they've got this in a 20 ounce, a 24 ounce, or if you need a whole lot of caffeine in the morning, a 30 ounce. Wow. That's so, yeah. <laughs> So there you go. That's, that's like a Trenta, right? If you're going to Starbucks, yeah. I think. <laughs> so there, you, there you have it. And finally, uh, for Doc, I went with a classic Corksicle, but Mickey. A nice little pairing for my happy Corksicle mm-hmm. of Minnie. So that is the Sensational Seven for this week, Trouble Mug Edition. I love it. <laughs> I've not used a corksicle mug. I don't have, and I don't even have a turvis, but I do have an, um, an orca and that keeps my coffee hot like all morning. So I can, I can get to it later when I forget about it. I've and, been a Contigo user. That's, that's okay. what the brand I ended up settling on. Cause it has a nice little, but the corksicle, you have to unscrew mm-hmm. and screw the lid on. So I don't, I don't tend to do that. And then the turvis, um, has the little slider thing. So whereas the um, Contigo, it's the push button and then it opens up. So that's the one I tend, I have uh, myself been, been using. So yeah, agreed, agreed. There's lots of different ones out there nowadays. Yeah. Well, hey, Becca, I guess that means we're ready to talk about the shopping list or do you, mm-hmm. should, do you want me to talk a little cruise first? We Which can- one? Let's do the shopping list and then we can, we can just enjoy the cruise. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll do that. Here we go. These, this, this is the part of the show when Becky lets, when Becky, (laughs) when Becca, neither one of us go by Becky. In fact, fact, I don't even go by Becca. I'm not even sure Becca goes by Becca, except that we aren't just talking about Rebecca and Rebecca all the time. (laughs) (laughs) Here we go. Becca's going to tell you all the other amazing merchandise items and articles available here at Laughing Place. When I hit the button. <laughs> yeah, we have more of the adaptive costumes that are available for Halloween or cosplay, whatever. Um, but they have some wheelchair covers. And then, of course, the adaptive costumes have um, just some they're great for people who have accessibility needs because it's Uh like they're designed they're designed for uh many different situations there's like a flap if you have a feeding tube and there's uh roomier legs um and i think everything velcros so you're not you're not dealing with anything too constricting uh we have some disney villain board games that are now on shop disney including the um, monopoly and the Hocus Pocus game. So go check oh, wow. those out. Yeah. And then there's Funko Pop figures, of course, because we always have Funko Pop. There's a really cute pre-order and it's mini from the from the archives. It's like five, it's a five figure display. So there's five of her on one one uh, piece and it says the archives and oh, lovely. Um, yeah, just her through the decades. There's also a sword in the stone up. Uh, some, some actually more than just one. There's there's four sword in the stone pops, and then there's a couple of Wally pops as well. 
We have a new series called the Artist Series that's coming to Shop Disney, I believe, on the 23rd, and that's going to feature um, Brett Iwan's designs, and I do not remember the other the other lady, but there's there's some cute uh, designs coming. We've got a purple wall wall lounge fly at Disney Springs, and then sketchbook ornaments are now starting to pop up on Shop Disney. So we've done a preview of those, and now um, there, I think there's like 12 available. There you, there you go. So lots happening um, all around Shop Disney, Walt Disney World, various places. We do our best to bring that information to you so that, you know, you can add to your collection and uh, also, you know, just generally need to find more space in your house for all things Disney. Um, as um, we mentioned at the top of the show here, I was on a Disney cruise last week. And um, it was a wonderful experience, but some of what's different because of the COVID protocols, um, they do have capacity limits on the shops um, so that if you, you know, they have a singular entrance and, and exit for many of them before, you know, the, these areas were very kind of free flowing, but uh, now they do their best to have an, a designated enter and a designated entrance area. They also have locations for you to wait as you are preparing to purchase the merchandise and at the merchandise and at the checkout stations, they do have sheets of plexiglass that will be between you and um, the uh, cast member who's ringing you up. I haven't been cruising often enough to know for all of you how new some of this merchandise is. So I figured I'd just kind of give you a nice overview of what I spotted. So if you have a trip coming up, you'll know kind of what's out there. Um, some Life's Better at Sea logo items, the classic uh, Disney Cruise Line logo. Uh, this is the Tommy Bahama shirt. Now, I will tell you, it was not marked down on the cruise. However, it is cheaper on Shop Disney right now. It is marked down there. So if you uh, have an eye on this, don't wait for the cruise. Buy it before you get there. Get it, get it and uh, wear it on the cruise. Right? Uh, <laughs> these are uh, spirit jerseys. Uh, they say Captain and Sailor. The Captain ones uh, feature the Disney Cruise Line logo on the front. Whereas the um, sailor ones have a um, mini uh, on the front. So cute little Captain Mini. This Isle of Cruising seems to be a newer uh, brand line for them, along with this more classic looking Mickey um, was on a lot of their dated 2021 items. I know these these lines to me were very reflective of some of the Disneyland and Walt Disney World lines we saw throughout last year. So I felt like this was just, you know, kind of an extension of that Disney Parks branding merchandise. See the lone corksicle down there at the bottom. <laughs> so yeah, um, but it, brilliant blue. I can't even, I, yeah. I love it. This shirt, I wished that they had had in an adult size or at least with a Mickey for my son, because this is not really a color palette that he's gonna, he would wear, but he loves this idea of treat yourself with the double <laughs> ice creams because that's just kind of iconic uh, cruising on the on the Disney ship, right? All, all ice cream all the time. Yep. Uh, if you forget your swim gear, they have, uh, you covered these are um, those uh, swim shirts that are the SPF uh, 50 or more. Um, so those are available online too. And then um, a Dooney pattern featuring uh, Minnie Mouse and kind of a classic like a pen sketch um, imagery of an anchor and uh, ship's wheel along with uh, fl floral elements. They have this Disney dream um, spirit jersey, which was, okay. you know, new to me, but once again, you know, I'm not on the cruise all the time, so it could be that it's been out, but um, it, it's like what you would find on the aft, on the, you know, on the back of the ship. It has the dream and then the Mickey that, you know, you, you see back there. So, you know, a, a nice way of bringing that Im imagery um, to the spirit jersey. Um, over on Castaway Key, even though you're on an island and you're outdoors most of the time, do not forget your mask because you will wear it when you are on the tram using a restroom shopping or um get waiting for your food and um this is the little shop there um at nearby scuttles cove where they had this 
really attractive um, button up shirt. And it features logos of the various um, castaway key locations. I can't remember, Becca. Have you been on a Have you been on a cruise yet? I was trying to recall. No, last time I was on a cruise, I was like eighteen months old. I think maybe a little bit older, and uh, it was the um, uh, Premier Cruise Line. So it was a Disney cruise, but it was not. <laughs> it's not Disney oh, wow. Cruise Line. Oh, okay. Well, I hope you get to take one because you and so. you and your husband um, have done a lot of the international parks that I haven't done. Mm -hmm. But I'd I'd love to know what how you uh, feel about the Disney cruise. I personally still, it's for me, uh, top of uh, all Disney uh, experiences right now. I really love it. These are some of the items that are only available on Castaway Key. So if you see something on Castaway Key, pick it up. Don't think you're gonna find it back on the ship because they have their own um, merchandise items out there on the island. Um, some of these were marked down. So I feel like perhaps they're older um, product lines. Um, they also have uh, kind of these tie dye uh, spirit jerseys. The uh, goblets up are, are those called? Are, are these called goblets? Stainless steel um, goblets. Yeah, I that stemless goblets. Yeah, stem, stemless glass maybe or yeah. yeah, but it's not a glass, right? Yeah, so I'm going. Well, we can call it a goblet. goblet. I'm going with a stemless <laughs> goblet. And uh, they have these on board that are that beautiful blue and it has kind of a nice floral with the Disney Cruise Line logo on the front. Whereas on the island, they have one that features Minnie Mouse at the beach. So once again, if you uh, want Castaway Key items, make sure you get them when you're on Castaway Key. And there's Tony with the Corksicle that we uh, picked up for him. It is really attractive. Corksicle, I have a like a felt on the bottom. So when you set them somewhere, they don't, they don't slide. I, I don't, I can't, I don't think it's felt because obviously you're going to be washing it, but it's like, it's got some sort of grippy thing on the bottom. So when you set it on a table, you can't like be a bartender where you can slide it down, down the table. It's not going to work that way. So that's, um, that's it for my uh, cruise fun, you know? So we had a, we had a great time. So, oh, I've lost Becca. Oh no. I, you are I'm, here? Okay, here. okay. Okay, cool. Very cool. I'm sorry I lost you. I lost you. They didn't. <laughs> oh, they had me just smiling and saying nothing. So, I thought yeah. it was I, I thought it was the other way. Oops. No, I think it was both of I'm let me put it this way. I suspect it was both of us. Like okay. for you, I was frozen. For me, you were frozen. So okay. we could just so. sit here and wonder about each other all at the same time. Exactly. So it was Pull good. Back. Well, I guess that's it for us here at uh, Barely Necessities. Um, stay tuned to laughingplace.com because tonight at eight o'clock, we're going to be having um, Disney Trivia Live. Now this is a time change. Um, those of you who usually hang out with us will know that Disney Trivia Live is usually at a different time. Tonight it's at eight o'clock because this evening we are going to be discussing um, a, we're gonna have a live chat about the uh, Disney dream experience that Doobie Gideon and I had. Uh, so if you know someone who has been thinking about cruising, if you yourself are thinking about cruising, please let them know, YouTube, Laughing Place, 6.30 tonight, we're going to be discussing uh, the experience returning to cruising, what it's like with the uh, protocols in place, um, how pre-boarding is different, what are some of the things you need to be aware of. Um, as we uh, just got off the, the Disney Dream just, just a few short days ago, so we're eager to let everyone know uh, about that. Oh, hey, so Doobie tells me it's at 6.15. So apparently I don't even know what my time it is myself. So 6.15 is when it'll be. So don't be late. 6.15 is when we are doing that show. So I had it wrong in my notes. 6.15. Let me put up this banner so that way everybody has the correct time. Thanks, honey. 6.15. Aboard the Disney Dream. We'll be live here on YouTube discussing um, all of that. So I guess that's it for now. I appreciate everyone joining us. Um, you can follow our Disney merchandise um, updates at Disney Merch Show mm -hmm. on Twitter. Always 
Laughing Place is another Twitter follow that uh, has Disney merchandise as well, but that also will have our Disney news updates and park updates and, and TV shows and whatnot. If you're really focused on Disney merchandise, you can follow Disney Merch Show. Um, thanks, Becca. Thank you. Everything. I'm jealous of your cruise. That looked wonderful. It was really great. Look, I got a little bit of a tan. Oh. Just, just a wee bit. Yep. Wow, and I'm but, blinding everybody over here. <laughs> I, got, I, know, I got a little bit of a tan. So, yeah, I'll be talking about some of that, too, because, yeah, um, I forgot, like, you know, a little bit about uh, dealing with so much sun. But it was it was a great trip. I am very excited because soon Becca and I will actually be physically in the same place. I know. So we're going to be getting to sp spend some time together. And I'm hoping that maybe we'll film a little a little fun uh, for uh, future Barely Necessities uh, programs as well. But I guess that's it from us this week. We'll see you all next Tuesday. Yes, that's the plan. <laughs> Bye.